Hello everyone, this is Chris from NokiaInnovation.com. Today I'm looking, taking a look at the Nokia Asha 501 as it's received a software update. Uh, we'll check what version we're on now. Uh, if you want to check for the update yourself, if you've not already received it, go into your settings, go down to phone update. Uh, it tells me mine, it says your phone is up to date, current version uh, Nokia Asha 11.1.1. Uh, if you're on the older version, you'll have a, this is, if you've not already received the update, you'll have a option to uh, use mobile data to check for the update. If it hasn't already come through, switch that off, switch that back on, make sure your SIM card's in the phone and the update should come through. Okay, we'll take a look at what some of the new features are. One of the first ones is from the, uh, is from the lock screen. You've always been able to swipe left and swipe right to open it, but now if you swipe from the bottom up, it now opens the camera. I'll find something to take a picture of. I mean, as before, there always used to be a little button there you had to press, but now you can press absolutely anywhere. Uh, that, whereas before, you that would then have a little button in the bottom corner to go to your gallery you can now swipe through your pictures if you swipe to the right uh, if you swipe to the left you now access the video camera I think that's much more in tune with what the rest of the UI is like the fast lane UI as it's called swipe UI or whatever is all about swiping left to right. So to have that in the camera, I think it's pretty good. Okay, you also now have the option, after you take a picture, I hope I didn't quite mean to do that. After you take a picture, you can tap it and you can, there's now a Twitter icon. You can change that to Facebook or to some of the other social networks it supports. And it's easy one-touch sharing. You've also still got that option there to share using that. So yeah, some nice changes to the camera. Another change we have is to the fast lane, which is what the user interface is named after. You can now update your status You can change that from Twitter over to any other social networks you signed into. I know Facebook's supported. I think there's a Russian one. If you've made a phone call recently or sent a text, like this one, for example, that's a fake number. There's a little icon there. Just ring it. And... Yeah, I believe that's slightly new as well. Maybe that... Whether that's because five 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 doesn't have, I haven't assigned a picture to that contact yet, possibly. But yeah, you now have the option to make a call from Fastlane, which I think saves a lot of time. You've also got the option to close different uh, entrances on the Fastlane, for example. If you don't want anyone to know that you dialed five 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 five, you can just hit the X. You've still got the option to clear all at the bottom, which I think is quite good. Uh, one of the first thing, one of the things you'll notice after you receive the update is, it wasn't particularly big, I think it was about 7 megabit update over there, uh, is you've now got the WhatsApp icon on your screen. Pressing it will take you, for, if when you press it for the first time, it will take you to the uh, store and it will ask you if you want to download WhatsApp. Once you do, that all works great. I've put all my contacts onto, onto the 501 and nothing as yet seems to be, none of them have come up as having WhatsApp, which I don't think is strictly true, but possibly I'll have to look into that. Uh, just taking a look at Nokia conversations, at some of the, of what the new changes we'll find. It says the substantial improvements to the fast lane. It offers improved privacy features. 
You can now configure applications to show you updates on your lock screen, which I'm guessing is that area. I've not tried that, but I'll have to look into it. Apparently it now supports uh, Microsoft's Mail for Exchange ActiveSync. So if you want to sign into an account using that, all well and good. Apparently there's some new apps have come through. I've not tried many. I've not tried any of them except WhatsApp, which hasn't worked too well for me. I think we are expecting to get Hair Maps Beta on this phone soon, which would be very interesting. I'd be interested to hear your comments and questions. Should you have any, please leave them in the comments section, either on our YouTube channel or on the post. This is Chris from Nokia Innovation. Thanks very much. All the best.